Welcome back. So you've probably seen this, many of you have probably seen this in the Let's Resin group. I posted it the other day. Now, the good thing about making these rings is that they use very little resin and ingredients. And you really can maximize your income with these, I do believe. I don't personally sell at the moment, but I know for a fact that these for the price it costs to make, I don't know what you'd price that up at. I don't know, nine dollars. It depends. This one's silver plated, but they can come in stainless steel. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of the expandable rings, but there are plenty on Amazon that are much better than this, and I'll pop some links in the description box below. And like I just said, you can really make these for next to nothing so we have our molds which you know, I always recommend these molds especially for jewelry making and I've shown this before this is a vernier caliper and what this allows us to do is measure not only the pieces that we've made but on this side here, it's a really handy tool to have. If we zero that, we can actually measure the inside of our cavities. So then we can then search for that size on Amazon. And you can also do that inside your blanks as well. To so find the right size of pieces for the cavities in the mold. And here are just a few other colours that I have made in the past. Again, these are probably around about a year old. And they fit really nicely inside the ring blanks. I really like that one. Um, what you can do, because we've only got, you know, a couple of cavities in each tray mould. So what you can do is you can actually just create loads of these and then make your own mold. I've shown how to do that in previous videos. Just make sure that you flatten the back. And I find the easiest way to just flatten that back is with UV resin. Now this is a handy 100 gram Letch resin, UV resin that's new out in the UK. I'm not sure how long you've had that in the US. But it really is quick and easy to just top those up. Just don't pop them out of the mould. Once they're cured, you then top them up with UV. But I'll do that as we move forward. So we are going to make a couple today. Or maybe four. I've got two tray moulds. So we're going to be using the Collaboration Resin. And we're going to be using the 26 ink alcohol ink set. And I know what you're all thinking. But alcohol inks fade in the sun. We all know that. This is art. You know, this this is one that I wire wrapped and followed a tutorial on YouTube. If you just search wire wrap rings, you'll see lots of these videos. Now, it's an art creating the piece and it's an art wrapping it. It's up to you if you want to sell them, but I'd re highly recommend in your listings, you put the general resin aftercare and just, and just be honest and say, you know, do not leave in direct sunlight occasional use maybe special occasions stuff like that really just to make sure that you're covered and the customer is not going to be disappointed and if you wanted to do the wire wrap yourself i could easily change that if it does fade over time just by unraveling a couple of those well those three wires there loosen that up and i could always pop that out and pop a new one in Oh, whilst I'm mixing my resin, as always, a massive shout out to my channel members. Thank you for the support and to anyone who's bought me a coffee or the super thanks feature from YouTube. Right, it's almost ready, almost streak free. I've mixed a little bit more, well, a lot more than what I need for these tiny cavities. Because I'm just going to have a play around with some other bits as well. Actually, no, I'm going to use this for any leftovers I'm going to pour into my side piece. I've got a 
piece that I'm, I'm kind of a lot of my leftovers have gone in here and I kind of want to get it finished so I can see it <laughs> so I'm gonna put a clear layer in there right let's finish this off camera so let's try and see how many drops it takes if it's gonna come out in drops I'll try and do it as slowly as I can and you'll see just how little resin these take one two three four five six seven eight <laughs> nine ten eleven twelve twelve drops in there oh and I've wasted one drop that's not good is it so it really is a minimal amount of resin to create these. So I've got my four little cavities filled. Now you just imagine how many you could make with just one set of resin. Hundreds. I, 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 it would take me a long time to work out the actual cost of the resin, but you're looking at pennies, you know, cents. It really is minimal most of the money that you're going to spend out is probably on the the ring blanks and again they're as cheap as chips so now we just need to pick out our colors now it's really hard to get let's bring you back up to get two colors into these because as soon as you drop one ink it will take over the whole piece but i'm going to try something so these stirring cups come in the collaboration resin i'm just going to snip off that handle i can still use the cup no problem, I can always just hold it by that. And I'm gonna try something I've not tried before. And just making a partition, just dip it by dipping that into the resin as I'm dropping my inks. Now I do need to get my inks ready first with the lids off. And just hope that it works. So I'm gonna try a cerulean and a yellow so I'm just going to rest that on the surface this might not work alcohol inks can find their way around any kind of barrier but it seems to be working so far and then just remove that out so now we've got two colors in our piece now all we need to do is add our sinker white I still get a lot of questions over this this is what makes the magic happen. The Let's Resin Sea Deeper. You can buy this in the swim bottles as most of you know. I pop mine into this needle tip bottle. You can see the green's kind of taken over. That was two drops. Should have only been one, but never mind. You can see the green has kind of taken over. We'll see when it's time to demold whether we've got that two colors those two colors in there but for the others I'm just going to stick with the one color we've got a bit of yellow in there by accident and again very little alcohol ink one drop you imagine how many you could make with one set of alcohol inks and then just the one drop of the sea deeper it's that simple it really is quick and easy to make. Let's go with a magenta. Really nice colour. See, I'm, I'm wasting more resin, uh, wasting more inks, just dropping it on the sides. <laughs> and what you'll find is that these shrink quite a lot. Which is why I mentioned about topping them up afterwards. What colour should we go for next? Let's go with a purplish red. No. No, I've changed my mind. Where's my peach red? I found it. It's a really strong pink. And then again with our sinker white, just drop one drop on top. It's really super bright, that pink. 
Okay, so now we just need to wait for our resin to get thick for our stir. I'll see you shortly. I've just decided I'm going to add a drop of my Marabou Rainbow alcohol ink just in this peach red. Just the one drop because this is really concentrated, you don't need much and hopefully that won't sink and blob. Right, see you for the stir. So it's been about an hour so we're just going to quickly stir things up. This is the one we added the marabou to. And just see it on the surface. And then the last two. You can see how it's kind of shrunk already. But we'll top that up once we've finished. Right, see for the D mold. Right, so they're all cured now. And we're gonna backfill these with the UV. Let's resin were kind enough to send me this awesome UV kit. I'm not going to go through all that now, but it comes with this really handy little light instead of keep using my torch. But the good thing about this is that I can plug this into my power bank and it will run from that, which is really handy. So we've got our little UV resin bottle ready. We're just going to backfill and then use a tool just to run it around those edges. I'll only show you the one. Doesn't matter if there's any bubbles. And then we just give that a blast with our light. It's got a built in timer as well, so that will cut off automatically. I'm not sure on the time, I think it's a minute. Right. Yeah, so that timer was one minute, and that's all it needed. Oh, because they're all set. I've done all four. So let's see what we've got. It's amazing how you can get, I've got a hole in my glove. It's amazing how much detail you can get in such a small piece. And we'll glue one in in a moment. I'll show you how I do that. I wonder if the glitter has sunk. It wasn't this one. You can see that ribbon where we stirred. This was the one with the glitter. I've never used the glitter in such a small piece. Well, it has a bit on the front, but it's not terrible. Right, now for gluing. So I was recommended this by um, another resin artist. It's really strong stuff. And we're only using a small amount of this as well. So it will go. I think I haven't used mine in such a long time. It's closed up. Yeah, I just popped a small hole in the top. It should now start to come out. So again, just a small amount on your tool. You don't need loads of this stuff. Actually, I'm probably better off just applying it to the ring. If you don't want it oozing out the sides. And then just spread that around can always wipe off any excess if it does. And I tend to leave mine for about 30 seconds before we bond the two. But you can also put a small amount on the back of the piece as well. We'll do the other one. Right, I'll give that about 30 seconds. Then we just carefully flip that inside and then let that dry for a few hours. Any excess just wipe off with some paper. And there we go. Really easy, cheap and they'll sell. Again guys, give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment. If you haven't hit that sub button, it's just down there and I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.